That bad man, Eric DaCosta, has been doing his thing. And this is only just the beginning. We, man, Eric DaCosta, oh my goodness. Gave us Yannick Ngagwe, genius move, getting Dez Bryant, veteran wide receiver, practice squad. I'm going to just give my thoughts on those two moves. And he said he's not even done yet. And I'm like, dude, you bought out Thursday. Took a little nap on Friday. What you going to do? What you going to do Saturday? What you going to do Sunday? Oh. Well, Sunday now, Sunday football game, so he's going to probably relax and chill. But he might do something Saturday. He might do something. So, Yannick Nangagwe, that pickup right there, is beautiful. We try to get him from Jacksonville, but we didn't. He went to... He got traded to Minnesota. Eric DaCosta didn't give up. That's one thing I like about Eric DaCosta. He does not give up. Marcus Peters, last year trade. We wanted Marcus Peters in the draft. He didn't give up. Calais Campbell didn't give up. He he's on a for a GM so far. This is what his second year, I think, full time. Second year. Bowling. And he's not giving up no first round, no second rounds. So far. And I don't believe he would give up a first round. Second round, it matters who. That's what I believe. But He got Yannick Ngakwe, elite pass rusher. He's only 25 years old, still young, in his prime, a pro bowler. Just think, just let that marinate, you know? And it's like, they actually gave away, Minnesota, I believe they gave away a second round or something like that. And Ravens was like, oh, here's a third rounder. And you know, I got, I'm Eric DaCosta. I got to throw that. Like, like Booker T. Five, five. Fifth round in that. And this dude already season so far got, has five sacks. Two forced fumbles. Now, we know, we know. what Baltimore does with f- forced fumbles. That's 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 our forte. Mainly uh Marlon Humphrey. So he's he's gonna be a long time Raven because this dude has five sets. Matthew Judon now has somebody that can help him, I would say. Because Matthew Judon so far has two sacks. Now, with Ngagwe, that shit change. If that does not change, I'll say drastically, something's not right. Because I, I don't believe Matthew Judon is going to be a raven. I said that multiple times. And the writing is on the wall. Matthew Judon, and the thing that's like oh, so smart about Eric DaCosta, Matthew Judon is 28 years old, and Ngagwe Yannick is 25. Like, 
Think about that. He's only 25. Elite pass rusher. Now with Yannick, then we gonna have, well, it was the three mom stars, but now I'm like, you gotta change it to four because Brandon Williams, he's back. Kalez Campbell, we know what Yannick and Kalez Campbell did out there in Jacksonville. And we have a way better defense because our DBs with PQ and LJ Ford, oh, that is just like, and then uh, Elliot, he got to work on his catching because that was, he could have caught an interception, but. He's getting in, man. Beautiful. It's like why Eric DeCosta staying old school. It's like why everybody, y'all, everybody hooking up their offense. What does it come really down to? That defense. You got to make the stops. You got to make the stop. You get to that quarterback. And this is. In his first game, Yannick is going to be against the Steelers. In the press conference, he said he, when he was younger, he's a Steelers fan. But how he's going to start his Baltimore career, being from Baltimore, and getting that first sack as a Raven against Big Ben, that is going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see him out there. Now, to the second person we picked up. There's Brian. Some people have mixed views. I already told you I like Dez. He's from where I'm from, where I'm at, Dallas, Texas. But I think the Dez Bryant signing is a little above some people idea of the signing. Not all. I see some people dogging it. I see some people like it. Some people just in between. They just like, let's see what happens. Okay, he's on a practice squad. But my opinion, as I stated, I believe he is going to eventually start a game. But I see Dez from even his videos he posts. People out there he he work out with out there in DeSoto in Cedar Hill, Texas. I know exactly where those areas are at. And he's helping people that's trying to come in the NFL, get them right. Just join him because when Dez came in the league, I believe it was Roy Williams for the Cowboys. And he was trash. And but Dez had that dog in him where he already knew he was gonna be the top dog. He already knew. And to me, the Ravens are lacking that on the wide receiver court. Yes, we have the coaches, but we don't have that one person that can put other people under their wing. And for us to me, one person that needs to be under the wing of Dez Bryant is Miles Boykin. Because I believe he can learn so much from Dez. Being Dez was a pro bowl, multiple pro bowler. Just that dog on the field. Because Boykin has all the traps. He has the speed. He has the size. He has the hands because I haven't seen him drop anything. I've seen a lot of miscues. I haven't seen him drop a lot. I don't even think he dropped anything this year. i just seen a lot of miscues. But every time the ball came to him this so far this year that I can remember, he caught it. And if he can just sit there and learn from what Dez and teach him, Miles Boykin can be that dude what we Raven fans believe he can be. He can turn that curve. 
Look at, for example, he was a Raven, Darren Waller. He had to step out for a while. He had multiple problems, but he found somebody that helped him get on the right track. And now he's a baller out there in Las Vegas. Balling. And Boykin. Boykin can, boy can, can, can be that. Boykin can, can be that. Under Dez. Yeah, like I said, it's a win-win. There's no losing in this. I know Boykin has gotten on my nerves a couple of times. And sometimes, I admit... I can just be jumpy right off the bat, like, man, get rid of them. Not, well, not get rid of them, bench them. But sometimes you can bench a player and that can actually help them out. I remember back in the day, uh, who was that? Mike Singletary benched, um, what was that tight end? Real fast for the 49ers. I can't even think of his name. But you probably know who I'm talking about. He benched him. Next thing you know, that helped his career out for a while. But that could that could all be what Boykin is needing. Just that mentorship and more opportunities. Lamar or they call plays for him more. So it's going to be interesting to see. Because like I said, I know Harry DeCosta is not done. It's interesting to see if he will get a wide receiver. Because I do believe Dez is there. Not only just to get a second chance. Um, we know he needs to get in football shape. And the press, I don't think he's that far from it. From the reports I've seen. When it's um, him and Eric DaCosta talk, he's not that far. So I give it like a week or two, if that. Because you can see even when Grunk came back, Grunk wasn't Grunk. It took him like about two to three weeks to get back in that shape. Because football shape is a whole nother level than just being in shape. And like I say, Dez can, Dez can be that. Like in my video at the end, but Dez is just speaking just truth. Like, he has that heart. He's that type of guy. He's been through so much. And, like, I can use myself as an example. When you go through so much in life, all you want to do is just that positivity, man. You want to make other people smile. That's why I do this, what I'm doing right now. Just make other people smile and laugh. And just conversate. Because, you know, us Ravens, a lot of us fans, like uh, engraving when we uh, did the, um, when all, like, all the YouTubers, we just chilling. Didn't even never talk before like that with them. Everybody was mellow. Everybody was cool. That's just a Raven thing, though. But... Y'all yeah, tell me what you think. I really think this Dez is going to... We know Yannick is going to be off the chain. But I really think the move Dez is really going to help out. More, really, I think it will help out more than just... After I just thought about it, it's going to help out more than just um, Boykin. It could help out James. It, um, we know James got the hands. But... James... Uh, he could be missing something, just a little something from him getting that that chance. Um, because Dev is starting to get his chance now. I believe Harbaugh is starting to, because Harbaugh was going crazy for him. Like he going crazy for James, start giving him some chances. But this is the really, I believe this is the test. This is the test for Miles. He's going to have that leadership. Get under, it's going to be his chance to get under Dez wing and learn a lot. Really, all the wide receivers can learn from Dez, from what Dez been through. All pros, because I don't, we don't have not one wide receiver on our roster 
that has accomplished what this has accomplished. A lot of them was very young, but they can ask him some questions. What would you do in this if this happens? Things such as that. So y'all just tell me what you think. Once again, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for the support. Everybody stay safe. Let's see what Eric, De Eric DeCosta do. Thanos, have a good one. Yeah, yeah.